All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius and Pisces energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles. This is not the deck I wanted to use. Hmm. I guess we'll start with this <laughs> since I did grab it. King of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. All right. Let's, let's on the back of the deck. We have the Emperor. Okay. There's your Divine Masculine right there. Or a Divine Feminine. Take how it resonates. Um, what is the deck I wanted to use? Um, guys, I have so many decks. I am constantly just like, they're all right in front of my face, but I can't find anything. So, all right. Here's the one. Somebody could be going through some misfortune, okay? Just based off what I'm already seeing here, someone's maybe going through some misfortune, some bad karma. Somebody had a decision to make here. Or they were juggling you. Yeah, they were juggling you. They, were, they had some type of decision that they had to make. They weren't making it. They were weighing their options. Um, I feel like this person also has been trying to, like, maybe... They were either emotionally manipulative or... Um, with, withdrawn emotionally withdrawn or they did something selfish they could have also tried to juggle you for some type of selfish reason like to have their cake and eat it too type thing hmm what's up behind the emperor the six of cups in reverse yeah and the seven of cups yeah somebody was not wanting somebody was still holding on to an option from their past or something like that somebody was like refusing to let go of something that they were juggling you like they were juggling you and something else and Whatever they were they were juggling you with, they were refusing to let it go. And it looks like it's something that was from the past or that they have history with. So it looks like it could have been like an ex or it could be, it could be a lot of different things. But tell me more. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. One card, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. See, uh, what a catch. Huh. Something... What is what a cut what what does what a catch mean for my collective the fool yeah they have love for you they want to have a take a leap of faith on you but why is the wheel of fortune in reverse though they're, they may feel stuck in something oh they're going through bad karma right now the ace of wands what okay what's the wheel of fortune in reverse the four of cups I'm telling you this person feels like they literally either rejected or missed an opportunity with the one like they feel like they missed an opportunity with a catch what in the hell yeah it's like they're they're going through like a period of time where they're not happy they don't like any of the other options or the any of the other choices or whatever that they have they're viewing you as a missed opportunity tell me about the ace of pentacles in reverse clean up see this person feels like exactly cutting karmic ties doing the inner work Somebody is in this energy where they know that if they don't get their shit together, they're not going to be able to have anything with you. Or, and it can also be that they already know that they didn't, they didn't irreparably mess this up and missed out on a catch because they were refusing to cut off some type of karmic ties or work on themselves. For a lot of you, I keep seeing this energy of juggling. So there was some, there was something else, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic, but there was something else that they, that was karmic in nature that they were holding on to we i saw the seven of cups and we have the two of pentacles definitely worth juggling you and other options or another option tell me about the two of pentacles the three of pentacles yeah exactly they, yeah they definitely had another person that's my confirmation right now it could have been somebody that they worked with or um yeah it could have been somebody that they were working on something with or teamed up with or, but i don't know what that was exactly but tell me about the king of cups in reverse the empress now we have the emperor and the empress here <laughs> they were being emotionally manipulative and cold and like wishy-washy they tried to juggle an empress they tried to juggle their divine counterpart for their own selfish reasons 
But now they're looking at you as the one they want to have some type of new beginning with. They want to take a leap of faith on this. So tell me about them and these karmic ties, Spirit. Why were they holding on to these karmic ties? They, ate it. they It's like they almost felt stuck there. Yeah, helplessness, feeling trapped. Why? Or they couldn't get out of their head about it. Yeah, cold as ice. Yeah, cons inconsiderate behavior giving you mixed signals. Why? Page of Cups. Why did they do this? Rejection. Mm. So because of their own ego? Yeah, they were resisting the connection. Male ego. Rejection. Why is Page of Cups here, though? This person knows they owe you an apology. They're not really telling me what I was asking. There's, this person is saying they know that they were inconsiderate with you. They know that they were selfish. They know they send you mixed signals, and they know that they owe you an apology. They want to message you about this, but they're afraid that you're going to reject them and they're going to get their ego bruised. How about the King of Swords? Whatever comes out is what's supposed to come out. Sometimes people don't even answer my questions. They'd be like, "This is what you. This is all they need to know right now." <laughs> um, they're getting some type of truth about like what they want for the long term. They're seeing some type of truth. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be an Aries. Tell me about the Five of Wands, though. Because they were conflicted about this. What about the Ace of Pentacles? Waiting, replaying events, suffering in silence. They want something with you, but they're not giving it to you right now. There's the King of Cups again. Yeah, they have love for you. They have feelings for you. They may be in the midst of going through some type of ending or transformation, though. Yeah, for so it's like they're holding back from you while they're going through this change or this transition, this, these endings. The goal is for them to give you some type of steady off, like a stable offer, have a steady union with you. They they know this now. They're very clear about this. This person has have, has a hard time dealing with their emotions, though. I still don't understand. Maybe they're just why is the five of wands here? Mirroring. Um. So there's there's been conflict between you and this person because you and this person both need to like kind of go within. Or, like, there's been conflict between you and this person because you guys mirror each other. You're showing them what they need to, you trigger them, they trigger you. You're showing them what they need to work on. They're showing you what you need to work on. Yeah, what about the Three of Cups, So They're having something going on. The devil. Yeah, they're having conflict, I feel like, with another person. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Capricorn energy. Yep, Ten of Wands, stressed out, feeling overburdened. What does this have to do with my collective, though? Ooh. This does have to do with my collective, Four of Swords. They they have some type of like they're they're going through some type of breakup or like some type of conflict with a karmic partner. You're the one that they feel like they love. They feel drawn to you. Yeah. You're the one that they like have their feelings and emotions for, but they're doing dealing with something with this karmic. The divine intervene to get this situation moving forward. Yeah, in the right direction. Because I feel like this person. Tell me more about this karmic. They maybe realize that they can't trust this person. Whoever this karmic is. Or this person wants you back. But they know that you don't trust you. They know that they don't trust you. Goodness, they know that you don't trust them. I can't talk. This karmic partner, this person, you saw something about this person. That's what this is, too. You saw who they were. who they. It's like you're seeing them for who they really are now. The rose-colored glasses are off now. And I feel like this person is sad that you can see them for who they are now. Because now they know that you don't trust them. They know that that trust is broken. They want you back. But I feel like this person knows that... Oh, yeah, because, yeah, here, hold on. Mm -hmm, this part, oh, goodness, this is ridiculous. Queen of, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, this person knows they're mad, or I won't even say they're mad, they're sad right now, <laughs> because they know that you don't trust them. They want to come back together with you right now, but I don't feel like this person has anything solid to offer you. They just want to be able to like have access to you. And I feel like they want to sleep with you and be honest with you that they like, they, they miss this. I'm not saying it's just that they do have feelings and emotions for you, but this is what they're thinking about right now is how they want you back in their life. They're trying to heal. I feel like this person is trying to stay away from you and get their shit together and heal. 
while it like and but it's like they're wanting to have a sexual encounter with you like they they're they are trying to work on themselves and be able to come towards you and offer you something stable but i feel like they're like they want to sleep with you like it's kind of it gets to that point where they're like oh i wish i could just you know i'm not ready for commitment i really don't have much to offer the collective but i'd really like to be able to sleep with them like i know it sounds crazy but they know that you're not you you're you're you've caught on to them like they probably have done this to you before where they don't come they may they may even tell you because i see this emotionally manipulative energy about this person or this like they they're manipulative they know how to like kind of talk their way into getting what they want or something like that they could have made you promises didn't that come out yeah false promises this person maybe comes in and gives you false promises and then that you guys to be able to like let you make you let your guard down with them yeah, and like so that you can, they can have a sexual encounter with you. Mm hmm. And they could still even have a third party that they ha like they have another person too, possibly, or they're still holding on to those karmic ties when they come in and do this with you. And then it's like, but it's like you've caught on to this person now. It's like they're, now they they feel like they lost you or they're grieving you or something because you don't trust them anymore and you have your boundaries intact. Definitely, two cards here of boundaries. They're definitely trying to heal, but they definitely would like to be able to like see you, spend time with you, have sleep with you. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Why are they so what are tell me more about like the blockages here? Tell me more about the blockages here. Temperance. There's a need. Okay, yeah. Timing is off. There needs to be like healing. There needs to be balance. Yeah. Wishing. Someone needs to stop dwelling on the past as well. Somebody needs to stop wishing and hoping and spying and watching you and being curious. And they need to take action to get what they want. You know what I mean? Yeah, five of wands. Somebody, what's that, see that? Why is that five of wands keeps coming out? This person wants to know if there's competition for you. Yep. This person wants to know if there's competition for you. Like if there's other people like trying to get into your energy or like trying to get with you with the queen of wands because they feel like you are very attractive. They feel like you're sex you're looking very sexy right now, sensual. They know that you have a lot going for you. You're very ambitious. Like you're very appealing and they know this. They need to just yeah, queen of cups. And then they also know that you're very loving and you're very yeah, like uh intuitive and empathetic. Mhm, mm chariot. Let's see what is that karmic partner that keeps coming out strength. They still they still have that karmic partner though. I'm telling you, they still have that other person. If it's not a karmic partner, it's like a, it's like an addiction or some type of dark side that they need to overcome or something like that. Tell me more about strength and karmic partner. Seven of cups. Yeah. This person has an issue, guys. Yeah. This person has an issue. If it's not just one specific person, mm -hmm. what is it? What are they worried about? They're worried about competition. Like, I don't know how else to put it. But I feel like this person also, what I'm intuitively getting, has an issue with wanting to hold on to multiple people. Like, I don't even feel like it's just one person that they're other person. This person likes to have options because they're insecure. What is up with this options? Seven of Cups energy. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they like to be like, yeah, it's like they want to like not. Yeah. They like, they've been holding on to their singlehood and like they've been holding on to like they like to be in connections with people or deal with people, but they don't that they don't want it. They don't want their this is Pearson's non-committal. Yeah. Three of Wands, but now they're wanting something more. Yeah. They're wanting something more. It's like this person hurts you, but it's like they're coming towards you. Slowly. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They definitely hurt you. To a pen, trying to juggle you. I can't make weighing their options. They definitely have more than one person. And I feel like they were trying to keep this from you. They were maybe even telling you that they didn't have anybody else. There was nobody else. There was, but that was a lie. They were juggling you. They had other people that they were entertaining. And this part, yeah, but they're walking away from those people. Or they either they walked away from you to entertain these people and explore their options, or they're walking away from juggling. Tell me more about walking away, Eight of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Hanged Man. No, they're giving up something here. What's the page of wands, though? Yeah, this person's walking away from... The, if they have options or other people they're dealing with, this person wants to boss up for you. Like I said, it could definitely be a, a earth sign, a Taurus or a Capricorn. They want to be loyal to you. 
they want to take this seriously with you. Yeah, because they, they view you as wish fulfillment. And this is maybe something that you guys had wished for. Happy and fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah, putting your Yeah, it's going to take a while, though. Yeah. But they do. They are coming in. Yeah, they are. But what's this? Be careful of this person trying to. You, this person has a history of being lustful or being a player. Or they, you have a, you view them as somebody that kind of like comes in really quickly and just maybe uses you for sex. I don't know. Something along the lines of that. Okay, let's see. What else can, do they need to know about this spirit? Let's do, get, do a few of these. insatiable yeah this part i told you they want you <clears throat> my voice is cracking up i'm losing my voice <laughs> they don't want you to know that that's why i'm like why did my voice all of a sudden I'm, like my voice is going out they don't want you to know how badly they want you they have an insatiable thirst a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy craving you more and more that's why they're letting go of these options because these options don't do anything for them anymore unexpected the answers you seek are coming but when the answers arrive it might be too late or you have moved on this person's got to pop back in out of the blue. It looks like the fight. That could also be what that five of wands is, too. I kept seeing it. They're about to come in and try to compete for you or fight for you. Yeah, their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome the fear, your, their fears of love. It's like they want you, but they didn't really want, they didn't want to commit to you. It's weird. They love you, but they didn't want to commit to you. Yeah, you have lustful desire. I'm telling you guys, this person has an, an issue with, like, needing more than one person. Or sleeping around, or they haven't wanted to fully commit to you because they they feel like they need more. They up until this point felt like they needed more than one person, but there's something about like you. After being with you, they feel like those other people just don't do it for them anymore. Like they found somebody that they're just satisfied with just you. There is a, a difference between love and lust. Like yeah, they're they're realizing that. Then let your desi desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Yeah, they, they they need to overcome that lustful demon that's inside of them. That that feels that they need to sleep with multiple people, have more than multiple people at once. So what does this mean for their connection with my collective? We have frequency. Okay, so they're raising their vibration. They are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. You were very loving to this person, and I feel like. They didn't know what to, how to handle that because they're not used to that. But now they feel like you're going cold on them. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. Yeah, they definitely betrayed you. And play, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now they're trying to figure out how to come back towards you. Coming apart, meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole, whole world. I was getting that. What did I see? This person wasn't expecting to meet you when they did. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. So it's like they have a history of being a player and very lustful and sleeping around. And, you know, I feel like now that since they met you, it's like they've been slowly shedding that. It like even that that lifestyle that they used to live, does it's not even appealing to them anymore. Those entertaining other options just doesn't even do it for them anymore. Like all of that is changing now when it comes to this person. It's like they're no longer aligning with that old lifestyle. It's like they're like, wow, I finally met somebody that I want to settle down with. Like, this is a very non-committal person. They do not commit, okay? Like, not totally. They may, like, tell you that they're committed to you, but they act single or whatever. Like, this person a, has, a, a, has been a cheater, lustful, a player. And it's like they're not in wanting to be that anymore the uh, i'm telling you we have unexpected here again surprises expect the unexpected shocking revelations what about the, the unexpected planetary vibes planetary influences celestial realms connection with the cosmos so something could be happening um the, whatever this is the shocking event or shocking revelation the unexpected event surprise could be due to whatever you know what's going on in the universe right now we have quite a few planets in retrograde um it could be because of like the new moon it could be because of the full moon we also have us i think a solar eclipse yeah it's a solar eclipse on october 14th so that could be something i kept getting that card in the um collective reading that i did on instagram and tiktok the other day so you might want to go 
Um, or I got that card. You may want to go check that out. But yeah, use your head and heavy burden. Give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let emotions control you. Heavy burden. Responsibilities, carrying old baggage, clinging to an unhealthy relationship. What's up with my collective? We have religious factors and we have creeping doubt. Somebody has, why does this, this has been coming out a lot too. But somebody is, first of all, they're learning a spiritual lesson right now. Second of all, they feel like because they feel like you guys have very different beliefs and it's made them very skeptical about you or like almost pessimistic or something like that or hesitant because they feel like you're very different. They, they could also be maybe um, skeptical about you or hesitant about you because you're, you are spiritual. Yeah. They've never maybe, maybe been with somebody that's spiritual. What is this though? Negative emotions and wishes granted. What about negative emotions? The clock is slow. Somebody's not happy that something has been progressing very slow or something isn't happening right now. But Spirit says that you have wish fulfillment coming in. Try not to focus on these negative emotions and, and think positively because your thoughts are manifesting. All right. Yes, it is moving at a slow pace. But Spirit says you do have wish fulfillment manifesting you, studying you. Yes, so this person is learning how to love, unfortunately, guys. That's sad. If somebody needs to learn how to love, that means that they weren't loved as a child the right way. Or they weren't loved at all. Yeah, the world. It's like something is actually going to go quicker than you think it will. Yeah. Rewards after hard lessons. Yeah. Divine hand. Yeah, due to divine assistance or divine intervention is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Some of this person is going to come in and give you a proper offering. They're literally like, this person's learning from you. All right. And it's like, new. it says new worlds are opening up. Rewards after hard lessons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with? I see you guys choosing to stay single. What about drinking or forget? This person miss, misses you, okay? They want to be with you. I feel like they're going to actually choose to be single for a while, which is a new thing for them because I told you this person likes to have entertain multiple people. This may be somebody that has, you know, it's like if they can't have you, there's nobody else that they want. Yeah. Someone's choose is going to choose to, like, walk away from all these other options they're entertaining. They're watching you and studying you in the meantime. Their goal is to give you a proper offering. I feel like Spirit is saying that this is a time for maybe you to also choose to stay single and be happy single. Yeah. But it's like this person knows that, like, what about a long list? They're going to return, and they're going to want to give you another. An, what is a long list, though? Wasting time. Nothing good will come of it. Not worth waiting for. This person chose like options over you or like surface level connections or whatever over a genuine love connection because they felt like they felt like they could never meet your standards or something like that. Yeah, they thought that they could never really meet your standards. Did they feel like it was, this person didn't even really try because they feel like they, they just had already like projected negativity. Like, oh, I just, I'll never be good enough. So why should I even try type thing? But they're going to come back. What is this? The grasp of greed. This person is very like bottled up, holding back. This person like did not give to you. They were very stingy with their energy. And if they would have like just given more to you, this would have worked out. But instead, they resorted to manipulation and scheming and controlling. And, yep, now they're lonely. You know what I mean? Because they pushed you away. Yeah, the empress. Yeah, they pushed the, they pushed the empress away. You took your power back. Yeah, unhealthy choices unfolding. Ocean of tears. Man, why is somebody in the ocean of tears? They don't like this distance between the two of you. Yeah. Yep, there's that solar eclipse. I'm telling you, something is happening around that solar eclipse. Yep, they're going to want to start cleaning up their life. Unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes of heart. This card, this energy, this change of heart energy keeps coming out. Clean up crew, cleaning up life, getting rid of distractions, making healthy choices. 
Yeah, they're going to be cutting up. If they had them options or whatever, they're cutting those people off. And if they were listening to other people's opinions about you and what they should do in their connection, they're cutting those people off too. Yeah, because you are their twin flame. Yes, they are your twin flame. Yin and yang, life forever changed. Yeah, a, a loyal companion, loyal and devoted, unconditional love, protection. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm telling you, something is happening. I feel like by like by around by October 14th or by the end of October, where this person's gonna decide to like cut off everybody. Like they're not gonna wanna like entertain these options anymore. It's like they don't even those options don't even do anything for them. Um they just only it's like they're only they're getting this energy where they only want you.